Suppose I want to find the length of this curve from here to here. How can we do it? Of course, it's a curve, so I cannot just use the loader. Hmm. We can use a loader along with calculus, then that's actually okay. Let me show you. Because imagine this is a loader, you will have to just place the loader right here. And what do you get? A tangent line. Excellent. So here's the deal. Maybe I'll just pick a point for demonstration right here. And I'm just going to draw a little tangent stepping like this. And this right here is supposed to be really, really small. But if I make it so small, nobody can see it. So I will just have to make it big. And the idea is that this right here, this length, we can calculate it, and this length is going to be really, really close to this portion of the arc in blue. If you make this really, really small. And the idea is that we'll be using the red part to approximate the blue part, and then we'll just add up all the, the such red part, then we'll get the arc length. That's pretty much the idea. All right, for this right here, I will call it to be DL. Some books call it to be D little s. Well, it doesn't really matter. Well, here's the deal. I will actually look at this and I'll go horizontally like that because this right here is the small change amount in the x values. That's dx. And then I will go here and then up, and that will be dy, a small change in the y values. Why do we need dx and dy? Well, because as you can see, this is where we can do the derivative. And also, by doing that, we come out with a little triangle, little red triangle, so we get to use the Pythagorean theorem. So with that being said, we know that by the Pythagorean theorem, dl squared is equal to this square plus that square. So let me just write it down as dx squared plus dy squared here. And of course, I want to get dl. I can just take the positive square root on both sides. And now here is the deal. For the arc lengths, some books, they put little s for the notations. I like to use capital L, but since this is my first video, especially when I'm talking about proof, I would just like to spell everything out. Anyway, here's the deal. Once again, this is the DL. And this is supposed to be really close to the length of this arc in blue. And I just need to add up such little DL. So for the arc lengths from here to here, it's pretty much that I would just have to do DL and then add them up. And the idea is, of course, use integration. Unfortunately, though, I cannot put down any number here because I don't know too much about the L world. So we have trouble. And how can we fix that? Of course, we have to refer by DL to be this. And you see that we have the DX here and also the DY here. And then, of course, they are being squared instead of the square root. In fact, there are some algebra that we will have to do, and it depends on the situation. Yeah, two situations. The first situation is that maybe this curve right here is defined as y to be a function of x. So I will just write down, when we have y to be a function of x, so I'll write yes, y equals f of x. Then in that case, we do the following. I'm going to look at this expression, and I will factor out the dx squared, right? Let me show you. So this is going to be, I will just put down L now, is the integral, of course. But for the dl, once again, I will factor out the dx squared instead of the square root. So let me open the square root first. And I will just put down the dx squared first, like that. And we will have well, originally it was dx squared, but I factored it already, so that would be 1, and we added with. This didn't have the, x, the, the dx squared, so I will have to divide now. I will have to put down dy squared, and then divide it by the dx squared, like that. Now, you see, we have the dx squared times this quantity instead of the square root, so it's pretty much the square root of this times the square root of that. And from here, you see the square and the square root cancel, and we just get a dx. And we can put that at the end of the integral. And I will write it down for you guys. This is the integral. And this is going to give me just a regular dx. I will put that at the end right here. And for the integrand, it's just the square root of 1 plus. And notice that 
they are both to the second power. So of course we can write it as dy dx and then you square. And here's the deal. For the dy dx, you are going to look at this equation. Differentiate y with respect to x. Namely, you do the derivative right here with respect to x. Get the derivative, put it here, square that, add a 1, open the, uh, put in the square root, dx, and because you are in the x world, go back to the picture, look for the x value, and I'll just call the x value to be a to b, like that. So with that said, right here you know you will have to go for a to b, and that's the x values. So this is the arc length formula, the first version, and you use this when you have y as a function of x. On the other hand, if you are given x as a function of y, really similar to the previous video, we may have this situation as well. And in this case, for the dl part, I'll be looking at this and then factoring out the dy square instead of the dx square. So it's pretty much like the opposite of that. And now let's get to work. We'll write down L is equal to integral. And for the DL, you open the square root first. And then we'll factor out the DY square, put it here first. And then from here, we get this term. It's going to be DX square over DY square. And then we add it with, this is going to be just a 1. And do not put down DY right here, because we don't have any. Like this, we didn't have any. Look at, this is square root of dy square, square and square root cancel, so this becomes the dy at the end, and then you have the square root of this as the integral. So in the end, you see that L is equal to the integral, the integral is square root, and let me put down the 1 first, and we will be adding with this. dx square over dy square, we can write it as dx dy, and then you square that, and this right here is the dy at the end. And you see, we are in the y world. So look back to the picture. We will have to figure out the y values here up to here. Let's just call that to be c and d. So we will have to know y is going from c to d. And dx dy is that you just look at this equation here, differentiating x with respect to y do the derivative here with respect to y, and then put it here, and that's pretty much it. So, with that being said, these are the two formulas for the R lengths, depending on the situation. And as always, you know, let me know if you guys have any questions, and that's it.